Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm here with Rory. Rory, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Rory McBride. I work for Arrow in the UK, and I'm a technical account manager over there. So we're here at NetApp Insight 2016 in Berlin, and we are talking about things that you've been learning and are interested in. So of course I can't resist, because you told me that one of your new areas of study and interest is SolidFire. How have you gone about learning more about SolidFire? Um, well, so this is actually my second Insight this year, which is great. Um, I've been doing not only the sessions, the breakout sessions with some of your great speakers, but the development cafe, uh, some nice uh, rapid fire sessions over there. I have to say previously, um, before the acquisition, I was like, there's quite a lot of overlap. I can't see where it's going to fit in. But the more I hear about it, the more I love it. And it's my uh, soup du jour, shall we say. And it's what I like talking about now. So what's the thing that most surprised you when you started to dig in and do a little of the learning? I think it was probably the um, not only the ease of management and functionality that's in there, but the business problems that it helps solve. And that's probably the key message you want to take out to your partners. So talk to us about some of that. What have you uh, been able to take out to the masses? Um, I think it's just, you know, you can put any workload on there if you need to grow by capacity or performance or, you know, you, you don't have to worry about these things. And it's, it's the ability to do that on the fly, monitor it, and the guaranteed quality of service is just, you know, a huge tick in the box for a lot of people. So what do you think, if you put your, um, your crystal ball out there, what do, you, what do you see coming in the industry? I know we've seen so much change, so much evolution. This is a big part of it. As a technologist, what are you seeing? So um, I'm a, a terrible gambler, but if I was to put my money down on anything, uh, I think you know, we've got um, storage class memory coming. There's been a, quite a bit of information about that recently. Uh, I think that's probably going to be the next disruptor for certain industries, but we'll see how, how quickly it actually develops into sort of the more mainstream products. So I know you've spent time in the developer cafe. Do you, uh, do you think we all have to be developers or get out of town? Is that the only set of jobs left? Uh, no, but I think you, you need to understand where things are moving. Um, I, I've been lucky enough to, to spend time with people like Val, who's uh, been pushing the Phoenix project for a number of years. Um, and I think the stories in there relate very strongly to a lot of companies. Uh, and um, those that want to survive and be profitable need to start changing. And they are the tools of change. Uh, those are sobering words. You can like you can choose the other side, but yes, <laughs> indeed, very much so. <laughs> Say the um, there's lots of tools. There's lots of different languages out there. You don't need to know them all. But you just kind of have to understand. And you know, you've got two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> I love it. Now that's good advice. Indeed. <laughs> and with that, we're out. Thank you for joining us on Pop Up Tech Talks. <laughs>